North Vietnam, rallies of victory were held with regularity. Death and destruction in the villages of South Vietnam were hailed as a liberation. The South Vietnamese reacted with missions to search for and destroy the weapons used against them. In the early 1960s, reconnaissance flights began. From the air, the land looked lush and innocent. Signs of an enemy or weapon storage were non-existent. If this lush land held secrets, it was rarely apparent from those in the quick overflights. And so the missions were preserved on and on hurried eyes. Each flight brought to Saigon a precious cargo of photographs. The evidence was unmistakable. South Vietnam was under threat from external forces. And if it was to stay alive and answer that threat, it would need support. On the occasion of your New Year's celebration, my fellow Americans and I extend our very best wishes for the prosperity and well-being of the government and the people of Vietnam. In your struggle against aggressive forces of communism, the sacrifices that you have willingly made, the courage you have shown, the burdens you have endured, have been a source of inspiration to people all over the world. Let me assure you of our in the development of your capabilities to maintain your freedom and to defeat those who wish to destroy that freedom. And so the Americans came to Vietnam. Other countries came as well to help the South Vietnamese. Australia, New Zealand, the Republic of Korea, Malaysia, the Republic of China, Thailand, and the Philippines.
Just beyond the village were the Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese. The civilians of the village were evacuated before the battle that was sure to come.